Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Jack Gifford. His presenter and wife, Mrs. Jane Gifford. Jack Gifford was a teacher and coach for 42 years. He moved to California in 1964 and was the first head coach at Raleigh High School from 1964 through 1970, where he started the wrestling program. Later, he moved to Beverly Hills High School, where he coached as well. In his combined 25 years at Raleigh and Beverly Hills High School, his coaching record was 235 wins, 70 losses, and three ties. His teams won numerous league and invitational titles, and his 1969-1970 team won Southern Section Championships. Jack was a team leader of the Japan Cultural All-Star Team from the Southern California. He also coached the Greco Roman team, which they took first place in Mexico City. Jack was the president of the South Bay Wrestling Coaches Association three times. He was selected as the Southern California High School Coach of the Year three times as well, and was named the National High School District 8 Wrestling Coach of the Year in 1980. In 1987, Jack was one of the first winners of the Select Circle Coaching Awards on behalf of the Scholastic Coaching Magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Jack Gifford. Uh, I didn't realize I did all that stuff. I, I mean, uh, you know, at my wait a minute, wait a minute. I, uh, I, I'm going to thank the committee. Do I get is that time? That's uh, oh, I thought you're going to run it back or stuff. Uh, yeah, I would like to thank the uh, Lynn Dyke especially and and Dell Schwartz because we had many phone calls back and forth, uh, and uh, in the committee for for this tremendous award. Uh, I don't know if I'm deserving of it because I've got so many. Great wrestlers out here that, uh, that they're, they're the ones that really made it possible for me to be up here, believe me. Uh, I uh, would like to thank my wife too. She's uh, been my wrestling partner for 51 years. <laughs> I have, I have yet, I have we have to win a match, uh, physically or verbally. <laughs> my, my kids will vouch for that. But I uh, uh, started out uh, in a little old farm boy out in uh, rural uh, Pennsylvania and with a place called Waterford, Pennsylvania. It's not on a map, so don't bother looking for it. It's in northern, it was eight miles out of Erie, Pennsylvania, which is dreary Erie on uh, Lake, Lake Erie. And uh, uh, they bust us in because we didn't have a high school. They, they finally built one out there, so they, I was eight miles out of town and uh, I meant many, many nights hitchhiking and in the cold weather uh, coming, coming back and forth. Now, uh, when I was in uh, uh, when I first started in seventh and eighth grade, uh, a couple of the boys down the, down the block, uh, it wasn't really the block, uh, they were a block away or more, uh, we started wrestling in the barn. Two of the fellows were wrestling at Erie Academy where I was going to go, and so we put some hay down on the floor and, and that's, where I, that's where I learned how to wrestle. But you know, it really paid off because some of you people may not remember, I mean some of these younger coaches, that we had canvas tops and we say you know we get a half Nelson on a guy in a crotch and then they say pretty you know tough sledding without any snow because they were white and I mean you, in practice we would put Vaseline on our heads so we wouldn't and our, our faces so we wouldn't get burned up and uh, yeah this is this is a true story horsehair mats they were great and uh, then then eventually uh, res lights came along you know uh, that, that was that was great but I started when I first started wrestling though actually my sister is here from from Erie uh, flew out and uh, she was my first uh, victim uh, and, and if they had wrestling now Bob I'll tell you she, she's she's tough <laughs> And, uh, and like I say, I started in seventh, eighth grade, then uh, went into Erie, uh, Erie Academy and, and wrestled uh, uh, for four years there. And three years, uh, uh, I was, uh, uh, well, I wasn't runner-up uh, my, my sophomore year. I wrestled a kid by the name of Jerry Mowry. Maybe some of you fellows will, he ended up being a, he was state champion four years, and, and that was his fourth year, and I, I helped them become the state champion. <laughs> but, 
But it, but it was really great because I took him down, put him on his back, and I had him four to nothing. Then I, then he, then I really made him mad. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all over. But uh, my next two years, I was runner-up. I, I was always a bridesmaid, but never, never the, uh, the. Well, how, what, wait, wait a minute here. I, I'm in Beverly Hills. I better not be using that bridesmaid stuff. But <laughs> awful close to Hollywood. So. And uh, but when I when I was 18, my dad gave me a road map and an apple, you know, and off I went to Purdue University, and I wrestled at Purdue for four years, and then from there I went to Chicago, uh, and uh, coached, uh, and I started uh, like the. Now I'm justifying my 74 losses. I started two programs in in uh, in in Illinois, and uh, the one year we went uh, 18 and 0. Uh, I mean the other way around, zero and 18. You know? <laughs> But the next year we didn't do too bad. We we hung in there, but uh, starting programs, uh, it, 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 it's it's really, really difficult. But at the same time, uh, to see the boys come along and and uh, and how well they they perform. And then uh, my wife and I decided we're going to go to uh, we're going to go west, young man, right? So uh, we said, well, we'll we'll. Uh, uh, send some flyers out. So we sent four or five flyers out in New Mexico and California. And I was offered a job in, a job in Brawley, California. And I said, uh, yeah, I said, well, if I come out and I don't take the job, I'll pay for my airfare. But if I don't, if I do take the job, uh, you can, uh, you know, I'll, 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 uh, I'll pay for it. And so we got in the car and we had a camper and two kids and they were one and two and I, my superintendent and I uh, mean my superintendent and the principal and vice principal said, Giff, if you want to come back, uh, you can because he said I was stationed out there in the Marines uh, Air Force in Hopeville, California, and he said they have three things out in Brawley. He said in in that area. He said they're. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> He said they have sun snakes and uh, and sun, uh, sun snakes and sand. He said you'll be back. We'll hold your job for three years. And the second year I was out here, we came back, and my wife said I was born to be a Californian. So uh, we stayed out here, uh, you know, from 60, uh, 64 when we landed Brawley, and we were very fortunate there because I had a great group of, of people, and I had excellent assistant coaches. They were just an outstanding. And I have even the basketball coach, a swimming coach, uh, and some of the football coaches here uh, that helped recruit for me at Beverly Hills. So, uh, and we have uh, Gilbert Mendez, a lot of you will remember. Gabby Escalera was my right-hand man in, uh, in Brawley. He was just unbelievable. But I'm very fortunate uh, to have had all the support that I've had. Uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my people sitting out here and some that couldn't make it and for my assistant coaches, I, I wouldn't be up here. I guess I'm done, right? <laughs>